grain mill operator introduction to food grain milling process let us see the broad steps involved in the food grain milling process reception preliminary cleaning and storage food grains arrive at mill elevators by truck rail barge or ship and are transferred by conveyors to the elevator head house preliminary cleaning occurs prior to storage after cleaning the wheat is conveyed to storage bins as grain is needed for milling it is withdrawn from the storage elevator and conveyed to the mill area cleaning in the mill area grain is first sent through a cleaning operation this section of a mill is called the cleaning house in the cleaning house dust and smaller pieces of foreign material are removed from the grain impurities are removed from grain based on size specific gravity shape air resistance and inherent differences in material example metal stone tempering or conditioning modern milling practices utilize conditioning or tempering before the grain is ground this involves adding water to grain to raise the moisture of hard grain after moisture is added the grain lies in tempering bins or drying units for desired hours tempering softens or mellows the endosperm making it easier to grind milling the milling of grain to flour is done with a series of roller mills the roller milling system comprises of break rolls and reduction rolls the surface of the break roll is corrugated whereas surface of the reduction roll is smooth in the break rolls the barn is cracked and the kernel is opened after each break the mixture of free bran free endosperm free germ is passed through the next break roll while the middle sized endosperm called middlings are sent to the reduction rolls for grinding of free millings into proper flour size packaging storage and shipment of finished product packaging the end product is a work intensive processing step and hence automated as much as possible in europe north america and australia the majority of milling products are filled into trucks as a bulk product in latin america africa and asia bagging into open mouth or valve bags is predominant these bags are filled and palletized the pallets are then transferred to the warehouse from where they are loaded onto road vehicles for dispatch transfer of the finished product to storage bagging or bulk loading is generally done by pneumatic conveying systems bulk storage capacity varies widely but mostly mills have bulk flour storage from 2 to 4 days of production